I want to tell you about a tool I keep in my back pocket anytime I compete in a fast paced CTF competition like Hack Fortress at DEF CON or Darknet. I wish this existed when I was competing because it would help me a blow through a ton of different challenges. I'm going to do it in about a minute and 44 seconds in the first two minute tooltip Tuesday. Gosh, two minute tooltip Tuesday. Uh, and I have like a minute and 30 left. Let's go. The tool is called Scyphe. It's a fantastic tool for automatic decryption of algorithms without the knowledge of the key or the cipher. Ultimately, what Scyphe is, is you put text into it and you get your flag out of it. And you can do it with files, you can do it with strings, you can do it with a bunch of different things. But so many times within these fast paced CTFs like Hack Fortress and Darknet, you have to like crack a veneer cipher, a transposition cipher, or a replacement cipher, an alpine cipher, any of these silly ciphers that you have to hit and jump through. And oftentimes it's even like layered on top of each other where you have multiple bases. You have to convert from this base to this base and this base to ASCII. In this tool, speeds it along. Every time I come across a problem like this, I feed it into this tool while searching for other things. What I love about the searching of this tool is it doesn't really matter whether it's a JSON, it's a CTF flag, or it's just an English word. It will find it because it uses common dictionaries. It searches for specific regex you give it. It is a fantastic tool for kind of like I throw stuff at it, like throw the kitchen sink and see if it finds it. Jumping into how you actually run this thing, I suggest you use Docker. You install it natively. You can run it a bunch of different ways. I just use it in Docker because then I know it runs and all the dependencies are there. You run Scyphe, you do dash T and that will do text input or if you have unqualified input, meaning like you don't really know what the input is, if it's a binary, if it's base 64, or just something odd, you can just do dash dash and then it is off to the races. If you like the two minute tooltip Tuesdays and want to see more, please give this a thumbs up, consider subscribing and I am happy to be back. Thanks for watching and hack on.